what is going on everybody it is patrick from clay here back with another banger so this one is about jobs we all likely either need one or have one and this video is for people that are looking to get a new one we're going to use clay to streamline the job application process and get to decision makers a little quicker than the fort knox that is linkedin jobs we're going to take matters into our own hands here and import linkedin jobs into clay find the main decision makers emails and reach out to them ourselves ideally circumventing the application process and there are of course other ways to do this but this is one that i prefer because it really helps you stand out as a candidate for jobs that you might be applying for so without further ado let's get into it all right so the first move we're going to make here is go to a new table and we're going to hover right over to find jobs from linkedin click on that and so for this example, I was thinking we'd do something along the lines of marketing manager. Um, that is probably a job I would be applying to if I wasn't already chained to the shackles of clay. Just kidding, guys. I like my job. Um, ideally, I'd like to get a job that isn't an internship. So we'll, we'll exclude the words intern and we'll leave it at that. So in this case, I don't want to work anywhere outside of New York. So I'm going to narrow it down to New York City. I'm going to limit my results to 100. There we go. I can see it. We're going to just go ahead and preview the jobs now. All right. So as you can see here, we have 85 jobs that match our criteria. We can see where they were posted, the LinkedIn URL, the location, title, and the company name. And so we're going to go ahead and import these jobs into the table and start doing some enriching. All right. So we have our jobs here. They're imported into the table with the information that I just mentioned, including the company domain, which is super helpful. And I've gone ahead and built out this flow here. So I'm going to go through each step of it and how you can replicate it for yourself. So the first thing we're going to reveal here is finding the contacts at the company. If you want to access this integration, you just go to Enrich Data right here and type it in. So what it does is it essentially helps you find employees that match a certain job title within a company. So we've given them the company here. For this example, it would be Constantine Search or the Clean Fight, et cetera, et cetera. And we were looking for people within that company that match a few of these different job title keywords. So all I did to find these job titles, but I just asked ChatGPT what jobs would be most likely to be hiring in a marketing position, and it popped out all of these. And so it might output a few different results for us, as you can see, but after we ran the integration, it pops out some different profiles. If you click on them right here, you can see the different people. So for example, this first person, Margaret Bowman, is a recruiter over at Constantine Search. That is pretty much the case with any of the people that are populated. They're going to match the job description that you ask Clay to match it with. So now that we have these people, how are we going to vet through these different people programmatically and figure out which ones are the best for us to contact? Luckily, we have an awesome OpenAI integration to do that. So I will reveal that to you right here. And what we have is a prompt that I wrote. And I'll read it to you real quick. I'm trying to figure out which employees at a company are most likely to be in charge of job applications. I'm going to give you a list of the names, which are just these names right here. Give me the most likely person to be in charge of vetting and job applications and hiring new employees in the marketing department. And then after that, we could input each one of these different names and candidates. And I inputted all 10 from these results. So you'll see there's 10 rows here, which just consists of the 10 different profiles. In the cases that are, there are results where there are only three, four or five different results, it's only going to crawl through those, of course. And then I just said to format the output as just a name, a comma, and then the job title, which is important for the next step. So as you can see, it looks pretty good. So we have co-founder and head of marketing. We have recruiter. We have head of strategy and marketing, right? So these are the people that we want to reach out to. So after I got that response, I decided to use a formula to isolate the name. And all I had to do there was I would click formula and then I went to use AI. And you can actually just give it a English command, which is great for non-technical people like myself who don't know how to actually write a formula like this. So I just said, give me the data before the comma in response. And it popped out the name. And that's important for our next integration. You'll see why I had to do this. So after that, I ran what we call a waterfall integration, which essentially means we're using several different data providers to find the same data point. So in this case, we're looking for a work email. So we're using five different data providers to ideally find that work email. It just allows us to get better data accuracy. So if we only use, let's say, Prospia, we'd, we wouldn't have all of the emails that we wanted because as you can see here, email not found, email not found, email not found but it found them here, right? So it ended up giving us more emails that we could ultimately contact, which is awesome. So all I had to do is I had to go to Enrich Data, Waterfall, Work Email, and you just have to put their full name and company domain. That is literally it. And it will run all of these integrations at once for you. And let's say Prospio finds the first try, it's not gonna run these integrations as well. So you're saving a ton of credits as well. It's, it's finding them at the highest possible accuracy without wasting any credits. It's an awesome new feature that we just came out with. So as you can see here, 
we have the validated work email for several of these prospects. Of course, it didn't find all of them, but with pretty high accuracy, we were able to find the emails of some of the people we want to reach out to. All right, so now we have the emails for the prospects that we're trying to reach out to. However, at the moment, we do not have any personalization included in our email. It would just be a generic email that we'd be sending out to these companies. Nothing special, nothing that's really defining, and it doesn't show that we've done any research. So my thought process here was for personalization, we should do something surrounding the company mission. A lot of companies, when they're hiring employees, they want people that rally behind the mission, that are pumped about it, and are willing to put in the work day after day to achieve said mission, as well as provide value to their shareholders, of course. So what I decided to do here was enrich the company, get their description, and then plug it into an open AI prompt, and then plug that result into my email. Ideally, it makes it seem like I did my research, and hopefully the decision maker finds it valuable. So all I had to do here was run our Enrich Company integration. All this requires is the company LinkedIn URL, and it outputs a ton of information on the company. As you can see, company type, uh, the company size, when they were founded, their website, etc. But what we're looking for is this description right here, and you'll see why in just a second. So after I enriched the company and got the description, I decided to use our OpenAI integration to create a personalization. So as you can see here, my prompt was this. Using the company description, tell me one thing that company name likely does very well for their customers. Format your answer as an action. For example, if the company is good at building sandcastles, say building sandcastles, and then here's the description. I've actually used this a few times. I just think it's a great way to personalize your email. And it shows people that you're kind of behind the mission that the company is working on. So here are a few examples of our results. For the clean fight, scaling growth stage climate tech companies, for high brands, curating brands with excellent products that also improve the world around us. As you can see here, we have got a great output and they're pretty much all successful and accurate. After that, all I had to do was edit the output a bit. I wanted to make it lowercase and take out any punctuation. This is just for formatting purposes within the email campaign. Two more quick formatting changes I had to make. I had to normalize the company name so it didn't seem like I was just spitting out their company name. Made it seem a little less robotic. It doesn't edit every company name, just the ones that have really long ones or ones that don't seem completely formatted correctly. And additionally, I took the first name out of the decision maker, which we're just using for the email intro. I'm going to show you the copy that I used, and maybe you can use something similar for your job application outreach. So let's get into it. So what we have to do in order to put our prospects into the tool is just download the view as a CSV, and then we're going to put it into our email tool. All right, so we're in instantly. I've created a campaign called Job Finder, and we're going to start importing our leads here via CSV and then map them out. And then we're going to start writing our email. So all I have to do is click import here, upload CSV. I'm going to drag the CSV I just downloaded here, and I'm going to make sure that by default, we're not importing any of the variables. I just do this to make things easier so I can go through manually and map out the variables I actually need in the email. We need the job title. So we're gonna use that as a custom variable. We need, we need the normalized company name. We need the prospect's first name. We need the validated work email. And we need our personalization right here. And after that, we can just upload all of our leads here and get started writing our emails. All right, so boom, I have written an email copy and I'm gonna go through it step by step with you really quickly. So for the subject, I just put the company name and then the job title. You could even use the term question or something afterwards to draw some intrigue, anything to get them to read the email. That's pretty much the goal is just get them to scan it. Ideally, they like it and they're open to taking a call. So I put, hey, first name, was scrolling LinkedIn and noticed that y'all might be looking for some help in the marketing department. I'm a huge fan of company name. You've proven to be some of the best at, this is the personalization right here. We'll love to throw my hat in the ring. Put a quick background about myself. I wouldn't recommend using your Tetris ranking in a job application email, but I was just writing something. And then just a quick CTA, open to a call sometime this week, talk about the decision, and then just my name. You can put some sort of footer here, but just for simplicity's sake, I left it like this. So if we look at an example here, hey Nyla, was scrolling LinkedIn and noticed how I might be looking for some help. Huge fan of the clean fight. You've proven to be some of the best at scaling growth stage climate tech companies. Quick background, open for a call sometime this week. It looks pretty naturally written. It seems like I could have possibly written this and I feel like it's a relatively good copy. I, I didn't spend too much time on it, but it's something, right? Um, and it's definitely something you guys can improve on when you're doing it yourselves. And after that, it kind of just comes down to running the campaign. Um, this is pretty much the entire process. You can start the campaign, start sending out emails and hopefully you get some positive responses. And that's kind of the gist of it. I really hope that this video was valuable to you guys. I think it's a great way to apply to jobs without having to fill out each application individually. Yeah, you might get some people annoyed by saying, why didn't you just fill out the application? Why are you emailing me? But there are probably some other people that are going to be impressed by the initiative that you took. And even if they think it's an automated email, 
it's a pretty good automated email. So if it's a marketing position, ideally they still hire you, you know, who knows? Feel free to reach out to me on LinkedIn if you have any questions. And I hope this video brought you some inspiration for your future job prospecting activities. And yeah, happy applying.